Hey everyone and welcome back to Tiny Zoo. It's wonderful hump day and we are back in our little wonderful zoo here. Uh, actually going a little bit towards the closing stages of Tiny Zoo because as you can see the map is rather filled especially with our big safari build here so there's not really that much space we might have some outer spaces left um, but that's about it and we do still have that bit over here and I finally finally have an idea what we do and I mean you guys are a lot more uh, enlightened than I am because you always see the thumbnail of potentially what has been done during the entire episode um, so you know already that I'm about to build a lemur rock in the middle here so the idea is basically to put the lemur habitat and facilities all the way in the back here and um, create the lemur rock in the middle reason being is that these animals are rather shy and we do still have the issue that this habitat over here is not working so we might put some other animals in here I have some ideas Years, but I'm not like 100% sure so we are going to focus on that area the only thing I'm waiting for right now is that the Sun is turning a little bit so it's a bit brighter in that area and then we are actually going to um, stop what we're doing over here because um, well actually can we this is all not needed do we actually have to research anything here I'm, I'm not even sure it's like some blueprints and whatnot but we do actually go pretty well when it comes to that. It's gonna get a bit cloudy here. What time is it of the day? 10.30. Yeah, I think, you know what, we can just stop it here. So, the idea is, first of all, to uh, get a bit of a, you know, a water hole in here. So let's just dig that all down, and then we're basically going to make sure to get this as, you know, as much as possible as a big water hole. Um, I'm not planning to get the people over here, so the stuff doesn't really need to go here. We, we are going to only put some enrichment items there. Uh, that's about all we need to do. And that's, you know, I don't even want to do more than this. So we are just trying to basically do a little bit of a, a water pit here in which there will be like a little island in the middle. I do actually have to make a little habitat. Well, basically not a little, uh, bigger habitat on this side. Simply because uh, we need this ground space for them. Uh, I won't be able to make all the climbing space they need. Uh, let's quickly see. Yeah, that is the, that's about the water we can get in. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is... Uh, am I really just building the rock, maybe? And just completely ignoring the... I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to igno ignore the land. I'm just going to basically put water in. Yeah, that, that should be a thing. That should be a thing. I'm um, not really sure how exactly I'll build the bridge because, again, um, of the stress and stuff. I want to make sure that they don't really have the stress. You never have the stress, you know. <laughs> um, I think, you know, it could be cool. It's like a double side glass, something I hear. And then we are making that like one way glass, which is a tiny bit more to the back here. Um, let's first of all say no habitat perimeter because this is not really what we need and then one way glass is correct this is definitely the wrong direction but we're going to change that so this is going to be what you see uh, it's fine this is climbable so we are not going to do climbable obviously um, and we're going to make this then uh, go like so uh, round it off like this and then I think from over here we're going straight I'm not really tempted to you know do anything fancy here um, this is going to be like a very nice back cover uh, something I'm planning to do a bit more like tropical mix with like some um, you know clay and stuff you know nothing nothing crazy um, and I think we can we can just bring that like to a close here that's nice. I think they don't really require that much more space. Um, so first off, we are going to change this side and then we're going to make sure that this over here is going to be a habitat perimeter. Nice and sweet. And then we're going to build the rest of the habitat from over here. Uh, dragging this all the way around. Uh, we can basically be... Uh, we don't even need to be super precise, you know. We can just drag it all the way around. Um, it always helps to just do it that way, just to make sure that you do have like a little habitat in place. Um, and then you basically connect them like this. Gone. Easy peasy done. So you're just going to put the entrance to the habitat here. And then I'm just going to connect the staff path just right over here with this bit. Um, and I'm also willing 
to give them like this bit of a backstage here. This does fit actually quite nice uh, with this building. So I'm just going to enlarge that building also in terms of style. Just going to make sure that this sits well in here and just kind of doing it that way. We can like make a little maintenance road in the back if we want to. But first of all, let's just go into that building and say facilities and just go to staff facilities. Uh, did I? I think I did. Yeah, I did research that. I think we need a small one here. That that should be about enough. And like a kitchen. I think that the kitchen can actually go here. Why not? Just make it... I don't think it has like a significant negative impact here. I think it hasn't. So we're just going to keep that like one building. Yeah, no, that was that was very smart of me. It wasn't. Um, so I'm just going to put... No, what am I doing? I'm just doing weird things here just let's put this in there it's like a little window sticking out and i think i'm just going to keep that a little bit closer to here as well this one can be like an open thing in the middle why not it might look a bit weird though but you know whatever um do we need like a window do we actually need that there's like still space for a shop or whatnot but um no we don't need this okay let's do this and then go for this is this is all mud right let's type in mud and then we gotta have this. I, I did I actually pick the, the this color on purpose? I'm really not sure if I did, but um, well, it is what it is though. Just going to put this in here like this. There you go. And now I think we can also use like the normal path here. Yeah, well that that does work. Okay, cool. Let's bring this all the way around. And boom! Wow, that worked a lot more easy than I thought it was. Uh, but okay, that is. Great. I'm not going to complain because that is most certainly normally quite a quite a challenging thing to do with the pathing. So it's always good when it works. Can I just pick that one and this and this and this and this and this and that and this <laughs> and just move them over? I think that's a that's a fairly good idea to have this shade here as well. Just like that. Here we go. That's that's fine. Now we have to decide about what kind of rock we are going to take. Mm, let's quickly go to nature and say rocks and we're going to make this like so i think yeah it's definitely going to be that one i think we don't even have to think too much about it um and we're just going to make like a wonderful backdrop what i wanted to do anyways is i wanted to create like let's quickly do this i wanted to create like a more or less it's not really fake but i wanted to make like a, a rock backdrop that looks rather easy and simple but yes uh, yet mixes in different styles like having different you know um depth in there if that even if that's correct you know just having having these little dimensions going in and then still make it somewhat of a straight piece um for really easy copying around like really giving it that proper proper edgy edginess edginess if that you know I think it makes not really that much sense, but in my mind, it does make a lot of sense, you know, just making that kind of like, almost like a wall piece, you know, having these little things on top is fine, and then we can actually, if we want to, mix in different styles, and you know, you can actually take that if you want or not, but I want to have different styles, just to make that a little bit more interesting to look at, um, but then again, just really blend that in just a tiny bit like so that you have different colors in there. Um, I even like to have these colors in, um, but just like a tiny, tiny bit, you know, just like so. In, in the lower ground, there can be can be something like this as well. Yeah, no, let's not mix too many things in there. Just a couple is fine, I guess, like so. And then we can also go all the way aggressive on these ones. Ah, maybe that's even too aggressive. Who knows? Let's just move that all the way in. It can potentially look good because you always have to see that, you know, we are going to use that as a kind of a blueprint. And then uh, I was about to say we have all these plants in the back. Is there anything in the back, like a tree or something? No, there isn't. Okay. Now we're going to lower that down and I already see that I think I don't really like the... Uh, yeah, whatever. We're going to see how that works out. So, and then, you know, you can actually copy that one easily over and just alter the height a little bit and then just like so, just get that in. And normally, if we turn that around, that should give us also like a wonderful, nice space. Yeah, there you go. 
there you go and then just bring that down bring that up whatever you know suits you i think i want to have like another wall like here there you go and we can also have like a bigger one in the front and we rotate that so you do have the the nice side in front of you just like a little nice block stuff like that it's fine i think it's totally fine and then we're going to match in and this is you know this, that's the easiest way of always getting these things look a bit different just putting a couple of random more or less random rocks here and there you know just like so and then blah 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 uh, i want to have that like so here that's done i think that's that's definitely done you know we are in a in a kind of deserty area so it doesn't really make any sense to go crazy here on different styles um speaking of crazy though was this fence really that expensive i thought people commented that this this fence thing was rather expensive and i want to just pay quick attention to it if i can use that here as like a Oh my god, this is just this is just grabbing all the attention in terms of sun here. So I'm just keeping that fairly low, but I, I like this a lot. So I'm just going to keep that as well as like a design here. Let's quickly look at the money. Five eight is the okay. It's twenty four thousand. It's quite expensive. That is that is mighty expensive to be honest. Okay, um, right. We've we've this habitat over here. And what I will quickly do is I want to go into my storage and I want to grab all of my... Oh wait, I, I got a Fennec Fox. Let's quickly check if we have a Fennec Fox available because that's something we always struggled for last time. Like a female one, money, just grab it. It's fertile enough, okay. Um, we're going to grab all the money, money offers here. I don't even want to go for the other listings. I mean, we don't even have conservation credits. I have legit, I had legit 18, 18 left. That is ridiculous. Um, but okay, we do have two Fennec Foxes now. Is that correct? Yeah. And, and the other male one as well. Actually four. So let's grab all the lemurs real quick. Um, that is pretty good. So it's tiny zoo, frontier zoo, frontier zoo, tiny zoo. That seems about right. So we've got two babies and two parents. If I am seeing that correctly so we have to wait now until they bring them over because i really want to see how that works with the with the climbing over because the, we need to fulfill some of their needs and i want to make sure that this is already enough ground space but we will see now what i will do though is um we're going to put down already a rock in the middle here just as what is going to be the island and i'm going to create that as our more or less blueprint i want to make that like go a little bit to the front animal has escaped are you just a uh, ramita wait that sounds almost like a how did you escape um what the what the <laughs> i have no idea how but okay low welfare okay you're bringing them over maybe they get a bit of a better welfare once they're there uh i've i've got a thing i've i have no idea how on earth this is this is even working uh step facilities without power okay well if you if you tell me that this one is out power we might give you a bit of power from a generator in the back here boom no one cares it's far enough in the in the back so that's all good all right see our lemurs are in that is great and now we're gonna have to check their needs. So social blah blah blah. See, this is what I, this is what I was actually fearing. They already have two less land area to navigate. I'm not sure if I can get this area in with some climbable platforms. Maybe in here even. Um, I might just check if that works uh, with like a mud platform. Um, by making that like so. And having these different platforms with like different heights shared all over the place here like so and then just grab me some is that column right column there you go and can we actually freaking recolor these no but we should be able to yeah have the limestone ones recolorable now right right that's what we needed um basically just taking those down so they can't climb over these things 
but what I'm willing to do is to give them quite a lot of climbable stuff now. Mm, we are going to do this with the habitat pieces, I guess. Even though I wanted to, you know what? Can I can I just climb and climb a ball? That looks about right to me. Um, because I wanted to have something. Oh my god, this is this is hilariously big. Uh, can we? That's what she said. Sorry, we ha we haven't had this. That's what she said. Joke in such a long while. Um, I think it's fine. You know, we got had. We we needed one. As long as I can do this be before baby is too old, you know, to understand that and then I'm done with it and I need to shut up, you know, we, we have to keep doing that. I mean, I, I have to, no, never mind. You know what I mean? Is that even working? I have no idea if that's enough. So I'm just going to make that like dip over a little bit here. Same goes for that one. Just dip over a little. Okay. I'm not sure if that's enough. I just want to, I make that like just a little bit like so and then blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, that does not really work, does it? No, not at all. So they technically can climb it, but practically they just can't roam on this thing. Or how is that even? You know, I'm just, I'm willing to test that also with like normal climbable pieces as well. Just to see if, if I'm the stupid one here. Or if the, the game is just stupid or what, what the, what the issue is, you know. Let's see. So these things normally work pretty well when it comes to climbing, so... Let me just double check. Okay, so that makes no sense at all. They just can't go over here to, to use that as land area. Um, that is much... Okay, well, I was about to... I, I thought they all died, but yeah. We have to be quick, actually, in this, in this habitat. So the only chance I see is to move the wall quite a bit back. And then just adjust the barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just stop, stop annoying me. I'm just going to make that. Why do they actually need that much space though? I'm actually really confused by by how much space they require. Oh wait, I have to. Okay, never mind then. I'm just going to move this all the way back here. Um wow. Nice. Okay, so is is that going to work? Yeah, this is going to work. It's actually pretty weird that they can't really go on these things like legit that makes no sense at all they th these would be nice platforms but it, it almost appears like it doesn't work because of the mud and i think if i'm going to use plaster it might work just whatever i guess let's just quickly test that i just want to see if i put the plaster on top if they just be able to roam around this thing then uh no that is interesting that is pretty interesting indeed. Mm, okay, so never mind then. We're just going to keep these things the way they are. And then we're going to whatever put on there. Um, I guess it makes sense to have these platforms in. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of those platforms. Not gonna lie. But the thing about these is they provide quite a bit of climbing space. And I have the weird feeling that the other side is not going to help me so much in, in these climbing things with the, with the rock. Because the rock really, uh, I mean, it's not going to have that much climbable space, even though it's going to have quite a lot of climbable assets. You, pff, this is, the game sometimes is just weird. Okay, never mind. We have this rock in the middle and we just got to have to build the rock first and then we will see how that turns out. I can't keep the game running. You can see all kind of issues that, uh, are going to appear here. Um, what we can do, uh, go back to nature and use some rock pieces here to make that look a bit more natural. I think this is already the, the, the rock size I want to have. Maybe just enlarge that a little bit by like here, so just like that. And then have some other rocks again to make that look a bit better. Whoops. No, no, no. Just sink in a little. There you go. Let that sink in, okay? So let's do this. Awesome. Now, this is going to be the interesting part now. Are we going to make this thing look good with all the different rock pieces or do I have to really put some effort into making that like a um, how's it called terrain terrain rock I think I don't need to because that might look good enough by using only these things here just making sure that they all go nicely into each other I could use the randomization but I think I don't want to do this I just want to make sure that this looks good by by hand 
uh, just making sure we have all these things merged together because I think you have a bit more control over that and it's totally fine if it looks a little bit artificial in the end because in fact that's what it would be anyway so you know I don't really I don't really take too much uh, oh yeah you know I don't care too much about if it's going to look like 100% artificial or not because it, it is and it could be if it's looking a bit more natural that's fine if it's not you know I'm, I just blame it being artificial so that is looking good from one side I think to be fair I want to have like something more along this on the other side just so that there's a bit more climbing involved in these things just making sure different kind of rotation I think that looks fairly decent and then we have a smaller boulder just standing over here and it's going to be connected all by different things you know and then this goes all the way over here I do want to have like a bigger boulder as well connected here to the path and it has to be quite high um, just so uh, I got I have to do this this way so they can't jump down but this is like kind of the connection we are working with they have to go onto this boulder and then they should be able to climb over the other side and then that's about it so this is going to be that way look it's all looking good if you merge them together like so awesome and then like this now let's go for my all-time favorite and this is that piece just to get some more details in but just putting putting some of those boulders the problem about these arctic four rock thingies is they just for whatever reason destroy all kind of traversable area by just putting them down already it's like you you just don't have any space left if you use these things i'm not really sure why that is but this game still just kind of treats them as as if they're like i don't know the cheat code for making traversable area go away forever okay and let's go to habitat and use the big old lock thingy here and i'm gonna use this as the bridge piece that goes from here to the other side i want to have that slightly tilt there you go nice and then i'm going to have the same here i hope if they just quickly path over that should be enough to not get stressed all the time if it's not enough we have to do some stuff in the next episode you know just to make that a little bit more appealing to them and now i think what we are going to do is first of all make sure that this one is like so straight we're going to put these platforms all across the mountain and i'm really trying to have these smaller ones in here because i think they look the best and since we try to take care of it as giving them enough space everywhere else we should definitely be able to just work our way only with this smaller one i might also have like a, a little bit of a longer one here and there you know something like that you know and then maybe a bit of a longer one goes here and then no the, the bigger one is not really required so let's go back to the smaller one just putting them all the way up here and then having one bigger to the side here that looks fairly decent to me and then have a smaller one going over here as well see that that was the easy part um sorry to say so but i need to okay so that was the easy part the fun part now is to connect all of that um i want to start with a rope first let's go with a rope and disable the blueprints and then we're going to use formula curved it's just no way doable so what we're going to do we are just going to do that manually which is a pain but we have to <laughs> so this is this is where it's all going to start so let's bring that down and where do we want to have them go I think I have to try first to go there. Yeah, that connects brilliantly. Just do that first. And then we do a second one. That's a little bit going further. Over. Okay, I actually made a little cut here. Actually, my hard drive was full for a second. And then um, I thought, you know, I'm just going to finish off the, the, you know, the connections between here and then see what happens. Actually, there's a ball in the water. I don't know really why. Anyways, we can actually do, uh, while we're waiting um, for the finishing, so to say, of everything, we can just change the grass and stuff. You can see we are missing out on soil, which is quite okay because we can make this all around here a lot more soil. And then especially in their habitat you can see there is a bit of a problem here we make that a lot more soil they also like sand quite a bit so we can 
mix some sand in um, size wise I think we are also fine now this is like kind of boring to look at so we are going to make that look a bit nicer in a bit um, but what we're going to do now we are just going to see I uh, know grass short because that's the most green one I want to have that all the way around here to the sides to make that look a bit more tropical um, as much as it's even possible in this area and then what we're going to do is we're just going to make that go away here as much as we can make that soil so they are happy with it here you go okay so this is all done and I think they will have a lot more a well, lot less stress I should say and we're going to say Africa and uh, tropical so that is the only thing we are going to do um, because this will help us to find the right plants into the habitat I think you know we are fine with some of those here um, but I you know what we gotta do as well is we gotta have like a, a a proper palm tree on the island as well so maybe have one and this was actually my thought i'm not really sure if it's gonna work or not but maybe have like a little okay it's not gonna look any good i thought we have like a leaning over one that goes all the way here to this side but you know what we're just not we're just gonna keep that this way i think the rock is going to be viewed from this side anyway so we're just going to keep this here and see if we can have some some smaller plants and stuff as well in here just to make that look a little bit more nice you know mix in some of the greenery here on the other side just like so that they all like it um it's not really much we can do about this we can have that gigantic part kind of water thingy here and then what's that even the giant rubber plant okay I think I have no idea if that will grow here or not. Potentially it's not. So it doesn't really look like. Um, but we can always use these things as well to just get a kind of a little bit of greenery in here. Really not overdo it. That's the that's my target because it's it's just like a rock in the middle, you know. There's not going to be that crazy. We can just put some plants here in the ground. I think that looks good. Um, and then we've got some low hanging, a uh, low low growing uh, palm tree thingies almost like some fern i think this would definitely just kind of grow here so we can have maybe one maybe one on this island that just kind of makes that pop a little bit more yeah that looks really good what the hell is this thing going to do here tropical rock i mean we can make that look somewhat nice to give it i think this looks cool as like a in a, in a boundary it doesn't look cool as a rock but almost like a artificial boundary of the of the habitat it looks cool so we're just gonna make that why not that looks almost like as if this is meant to be this way yeah we're just gonna keep that it's just going to look i think it's, it's looking good i think it's looking good this way we might also want to have that here is there like one piece that looks even more yes we can we can basically use that one can't we but it's not as thick though but you know what we can just still do this and then just put like a simple fence in front i think that will still look good and there you go just do that and then we can actually if uh, yeah why not where's that one okay let's align that here and then i think this one is rather straight i think we if we do it that way i mean it's it's not beautiful but it's okay it does what it does, you know? It, it does the trick. It does the trick for the moment. Cool. Are we going to use the same fence as on, on the other side? We can we can just copy that over from here. I mean, why not? We're in the same area. So why not use the same fence over again in here? And might actually stay. Yes, it stays on that height. So we can keep that in. And we have the habitat. It's already done. I think it looks fairly decent. I did not expect it to look that good. I mean, you guys saw that at the beginning, but this is the new Lemur Island. I love it. It's done. We are done, guys. I think it's that was fairly straightforward, and I really love that. Um, we only need these animals to be over, and then animal died. Yeah, we didn't we didn't we already? That's so sad. But there's a baby. I saw a baby. Whenever there's a baby, it's good. Um, we just got to see if the lemurs actually pass over and have a bit of fun here. And that's all we gotta want is that that's all we want to see are you coming over guys oh yeah there's one already going over nice look at that this is this is great stuff look this is our new lemur rock i like that we can actually use the zoomy zoom the zoomy zoom from the uh how's the thing called again ansel it finally works again so we shall use that you can see that now but i can i can zoom and you can still see that as if we are in tajit cam look that looks fancy i like this a lot 
Okay, so this is going to be our lemur island. Hopefully we are going to have like a lot more lemurs in the end. But that's about it today already, guys. That was our wonderful episode for today. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Look at that one just jumping from one spot to the other. Does it go all the way up? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, yeah, as always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did enjoy and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. That helps me a lot. And if you guys are excited for Jurassic World Evolution as well, this is going to be covered next week quite quite a lot. I'm preparing for that already. I played a lot of Jurassic World Evolution 1 to get back into the groove and um, fear not, there's also some Planet Zoo stuff in the works. So a couple of things coming. I hope you guys are excited. I wish you a wonderful day and I talk to you in the next one. Stay safe one.